So when I say optimize your profile, I add a keyword that is, that's relevant to what I do or my brand or my product or my service. So that when you, even before search, uh, the keyword research started on Instagram, even before SEO started, that was pretty much the only searchable thing if you had a keyword in your name field on Instagram. This applies for Facebook, this applies for um, TikTok, this applies to Clubhouse and all. So always make sure to use your keyword here. Write what category your business in. Let me put up, we'll stop here. Before I go any further, make sure to have a business account or a creator account for any social media platform you have. So if you only have a personal account with Instagram, Facebook, or um, TikTok, or um, I can't think of any other right now, but also you get a lot of different features for business and creator accounts, like you're able to put your link on there, which we'll talk about in a second. The category you're in, number one, make a business account if you haven't done that yet. Uh, number two, make sure to uh, add your keyword your title, your product name, your solution, whatever is going to bring people to you. Uh, write that in your name field and make sure to select the correct category for what your niche is. And then don't just write a whole paragraph when you are um, creating pretty much any profile and make it, make it always easy to read like with bullets, you see? And I always use like emojis as a bullet, a bullet point. And because when it's a paragraph, people don't want to read it. And like we said yesterday, people are lazy. We are lazy as consumers, especially with the digital media. I mean, it's so much content out there that we barely read anything nowadays, unless it really grabs our attention. So our purpose is to make it as simplest and easiest, easiest to understand for our audience. So just put short words with keyword, I mean, I'm sorry, short sentences with keywords in them. And I always recommend to put your um, niche statement or somewhat of a niche statement there where it explains what you do, why you do, who you help, or what your product is, why you're, you have this product, what is the solution this product provides, things like that, so that it is easily, you know, then I'll, I'll know what exactly you do as soon as I click on your profile page. Now, social media, especially Instagram, um, Instagram, TikTok, not so much Facebook, that's a different platform, but Instagram and platform, there's nowhere else but your profile that you can put a link to. These platforms wants to keep us on there. Like they want to create their own worldwide web in a way, right? Now, when you go on the phone um, and click on the link, even Facebook opens um, its own browser, internet browser. There. So they don't want you to ever get away, get out of that platform. That's why they make it as limited as possible for you to put a link there because then that people are going to click on that link and they're going to go to somewhere else. And there you go. Now, um, engagement time is less, right? So that's why they don't like to give you enough uh, real estate so that, you know, you don't take people to other platforms. And one of the things that is very popular nowadays is almost every platform started um, having their own uh, selling platform. So as long as you create a shop and have your, you know, products or services on that platform, then of course they allow you to, you know, have your link, have your products and things like that on there. But otherwise it's just the one, this one link. So that's why I create a business account or creator account and make sure, make sure, make sure to put a link here to your social media profile. Like I said, use a couple of emojis. Don't like overdo it all over the place, but use a couple, you know, couple of emoji emojis. And I changed my call to action. 
So right now, because I have been promoting my workshop, I put sign up for my free traffic workshop and I put, I put the link to the exact page to sign up, not my um, main page, not my homepage. So that I don't have to make them go around and around try to find try to find things because again, um, our attention attention span is very very short. So if you make people wait, or if you don't give them the um, clear path to what you want them to do, they may just click on the X to to leave. Like God knows, I'm a very impatient person. If the website is taking a while to open, mm -mm, I won't even bother with that. 